Okay guys, I quickly want to introduce the .NET 6 feature. Because there is a new built-in code format that shipped as global tool on no extra efforts, which is called .NET Format. .NET Format is a code formatter for .NET that applies style preferences to a project or solution. Preferences will be read from a .edu.config file, if present. Otherwise, a default set of preferences will be used. Currently, .NET Format is able to format C# -sharp and Visual Basic. As always, more in-depth links in the video description below. And sneak peek the .NET runtime user .editor config itself. What can you do with it? It is for check general .NET stuff, check language specific code style, verify general .NET design guidelines, check naming rules, check for unnecessary code, and so on. So I would say, let's try it out. I just want to copy the .editor config file from uh, .NET runtime, paste it in here. So I need an editor config, paste, great. And we need some code that we can format. Let's do a .NET new console. Okay, let's go into the program and say we have a variable named grass and this grass is green, maybe, and we say if grass is green, you make a console right line, you are maybe on the other side, because the grass is green there, so, okay. Now we have two options. The one is we just quickly type in .NET format and the code is getting magically formatted. Another option is if we go on .NET format, verify no changes, then just we get an output of what is wrong and what is needed to be changed. Let's try this first before we go into the .NET format itself. So now we see we have here in line three, uh, at column three and line six, column two, um, errors. So we have an error in the white space, um, which here I would need to add a white space before. And I missed to add a final new line at the end. Okay, so then let's do a .NET format. And what's now going to happen is that the error is not going to be displayed it's going to be fixed right in the code. So what is what was added here is here this extra space where we had this error before and this extra final new line. We also could go into this editor config and let's say we want an indent size of eight. Let's save this, do a .NET format again. And what now is going to happen that is, let's see, the program CS file will be adjusted due to our change in the config. And now you see we have here eight intention spaces. Okay, you can do a lot of things. Uh, there are a few of specific C sharp indents, switch labels, and so on. So there are a lot of uh, .NET style, C sharp style things, uh, .NET naming rules you can add to your editor config. More of this is mentioned in the link below. And yeah, this was it. Have fun with it and see you again in the next one.